many great things have been accomplished. Probably four million citizens have gone back to work. Commodity prices have risen measurably. Perhaps as much as $50 million have been added to the monthly payroll of the workers of the nation. Remember, my friends, that unless we have higher prices for agricultural and industrial products, wages must go down instead of up. For business cannot long be carried on at a loss. Decreased wages will mean decreased purchasing power. Hence, less demand for goods. Hence, fewer men at work and all the cruel misery of unemployment and hard times. There can be no prosperity until prices are raised. The president recognizes this fundamental fact and is bending every en energy to raise prices. So, my fellow citizens, I have given you a brief outline of the president's program for a planned recovery. The president has not failed us. Let us not fail him.